What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Real Sports Updates here. Back again with another video. You see the title, you see the thumbnail. Let's get right into it. Debo Samuel needs to get paid. Uh, and the 49ers are really playing around with him right now. Um, <clears throat> now, the other day Debo Samuel came out and uh, he deleted all uh, 49er related material off of his Instagram. Um, this seems to be a trend now with the younger players. You know, Kyler Murray was... Uh, doing the same thing a couple months ago. Um, I don't think his was a contract uh, dispute, but his was, uh, I guess, a respect thing or whatever. Um, Debo Samuel did the same thing, uh, but his is directly related to a contract dispute. Now, Debo Samuel was one of the best players in the NFL all around. Uh, you know, not just receiver or whatever, but all around. He does everything uh, that the Niners asked him to do and more. Um, he is a very, very, very physical player. Um, he's physical as a wide receiver. He obviously runs the ball a lot. You know, he's the only guy in the league who's really doing both. You know, that way he's playing two positions. Um, and he wants to get paid and he wants to get compensated. And he should. Um, and, you know, the Niners honestly should have thought of this, you know, years ago. And they should have been thinking about this from, from years ago, you know, from, you know, onset. From the time that they asked him to run the ball as well as catch the ball as well as play most of the offensive snaps. Um, you know, he's, he still has blocking assignments in the run game. Um, he's an all-around player, all-around offensive weapon for the Niners. And the Niners are really playing games right now. And I think the Niners are, the Niners are treading in um, precarious waters uh, because they still have yet to unload Jimmy Garoppolo. Um, you know, the longer, and I made a video about this uh, a couple weeks ago, the longer they keep him on the roster, the harder it's going to be um, to get rid of him, you know, especially for draft compensation that is not, you know, just throw away at, at some point. Um, Jimmy Garoppolo had shoulder surgery, so he is still nursing, you know, his, his uh, you know, surgically repaired shoulder. And, you know, he right now he's really not even... I don't even know if there's a market for him right now, to be honest. Um, if there is, then it's it's going to be a third day uh, draft pick. Um, and that's the best case scenario for the Niners. Um, but the fact that they have held on to Jimmy Garoppolo this long, they have Trey Lance, who is waiting in the wings. Um, he's waiting to start. And there have been, you know, several reports that have came out that said that Trey Lance uh, will be starting next year. You know, no matter what, no matter who is there um, as a backup, no matter if it's Jimmy G or somebody else, Trey Lance will be starting uh, because that's what the Niners drafted him for. Now, if Trey Lance does start, and I think he will, then, you know, and Jimmy Garoppolo is not traded, if there are no quarterback injuries in training camp, um, then you're going to have the most expensive backup quarterback in the league um, who has gotten you to two NFC Championship games. Um, and if you're... You know, second year starter struggles in any way. The fans, everybody in the media is going to be calling for Jimmy Garoppolo to play. Now it's going to hinder the growth that Trey Lance can have. So this is a really bad situation that the Niners are in. Um, and it sucks because Debo Samuel now has to deal with the ramifications of the Niners uh, in action. You know, when it comes to moving um, moving on from their 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 starting quarterback going to a rookie who is on a rookie deal, right? He's cheap. Um, but, you know, if the Niners do keep Jimmy Garoppolo, they're going to end up owing him, you know, more than, what, $25, $27 million or whatever it is for the season. And that's going to hamstring you as far as the transactions you can make. It's going to hamstring you as far as your flexibility cap-wise, you know, especially when, the when you know, the trade deadline comes up during the uh, season, you know, you know, maybe there's going to be some areas that the Niners want to shore up. They're not going to be able to do it if they're paying – uh, Jimmy Garoppolo a bunch of money to sit on the bench so this is a a very avoidable situation that the Niners are in um, like I said Debo Samuel has to deal with all of this you know none, none of this is his creation none of this is his fault but I don't think that the Niners are handling this in the correct way and you know Debo Samuel he's looking at all these other receivers getting paid you know you see in uh, Demonte Adams uh, getting paid the big money even all the way down to the Christian Kirk. Christian Kirk got a big deal. You know, Christian Kirk is a, a second wide receiver at best, right? He's a number two on your roster at, at best. And he got paid a lot of money 
in Jacksonville. Um, but none of the other receivers who have gotten paid can do what Debo Samuel does in the run game. Uh, they can't block as well as him. They obviously cannot run the ball. Um, and they're obviously not as physical as him either. You know, they don't really set a tone. Debo Samuel sets a tone as a wide receiver. Um, again, he's the only guy in the league that does that, really, um, from a physical standpoint. So he really is an asset. He's a, He is an asset. Um, he can play in any offense um, because of how physical he is and because of his, his uh, skill set that's very multiple. He can play in any offense. So the Niners, they need to handle this. They, they, they really need to come to grips with Losing Jimmy Garoppolo, I know they like him. I I, I know that they do. Um, you know, it's obvious they've held on to him this this long. Um, but they're gonna have to come to grips with it. Either you know, either Trey Lance is gonna start and he's gonna develop, or Jimmy Garoppolo is gonna sit there. He's gonna hinder his development, um, and he's gonna hinder the development of the roster as well too. You know, with taking up so much of the the cap as a backup starter, as a maybe starter, or whatever. Like, it it just. It really doesn't make a whole lot of sense from this standpoint. Um, and, you know, Debo has to deal with this. But the Niners better get it going, man, because, you know, if they do trade Debo Samuel because they're not able to sign him, um, that would be one of the, I think, one of the biggest mistakes that Kyle Shanahan, John Lynch, uh, the brain trust that the Niners have, that would be one of the biggest mistakes that they can make. Debo Samuel is a guy that you want on your roster. We've seen, we've seen what he did um, in Green Bay. Right, the Niners couldn't get anything going offensively. They couldn't do anything. Debo Samuel was really the only constant that they had on offense. Um, their defense, you know, did the, the lion's share of the work and pretty much won them the game. But Debo Samuel was that one offensive weapon that you can rely on. He was catching passes. Uh, he was running the ball. He was blocking. He was doing all of this, uh, you know, at Green Bay in January, you know, when it's cold. It's freezing cold out there. This is a guy that you can count on. He's clearly a guy that you can count on. So... If the Niners think that they can go on, you know, without him and they do end up trading him, um, you know, they can get some some good draft compensation, but you're not going to replace that guy. You're, you're, you're just not, you're not going to find another guy out of college like that. Um, you're, you're just not going to, you, you you can't, you just can't replace him. There's not a lot of Debo Samuels running around in college football right now. Um, you know, but this is a very, very ridiculous situation, I think, that the Niners are in. Like I said, it's so avoidable. Um, they really should have, you know, been more professional about this whole thing. Um, you know, you have a guy in Debo Samuel for the past three seasons. He's been um, doing everything. He's been catching. He's been running the ball. Um, you know, he's essentially been playing two positions for the past three years. This is something that you, a, a, a good, competent organization understands, and you either extend this guy early uh, you know, so the, the situation never gets to this point at all, or you have a trade destination in mind and you, you, you already had that in mind, you know, going forward, um, Bill Belichick style and you get as much as you can out of them. And then, you know, you deal them for, um, you know, another good player or, you know, some premium draft compensation, but it doesn't seem that the Niners have done either. So now they're kind of in limbo right now. And, you know, as time goes by and as, as the season approaches, you know, it's just going to be a more awkward situation for them. Um, it's just going to be a, a situation that, you know, hopefully it doesn't get out of control and there's no holdouts and stuff like that. But it can get to, you know, a, a toxic level where, you know, there might not even be a resolution. The only resolution might be to trade him because he's so pissed off. But either way, this is a hole that the Niners uh, dug themselves. Um but, you know, hopefully they get it together and hopefully they, you know, are able to clear everything out so Trey Lance can have a opportunity to start, an opportunity to grow without having to look over his shoulder, you know, without having to worry about, you know, being pulled from a game if he throws an interception or if he has a bad game or if he, you know, is in a, in, in a little bit of a funk. Um, you can't grow and you can't learn and you can't, you know, be the best that you can be if you have to look over your shoulder every time. You know, you go out there and you're playing. You can't just relax and, and be free um, and let your talent take over. So if if Trey Lance cannot play in a, in a situation like that, then it's going to be a long it's going to be a long road for the Niners. It's going to be a really um, you know they still might be good this season, but going you know just going forward and you know having a a young quarterback um, you know whose confidence can be up and down you know depending on on you know how he's playing or you know if you've won 
a couple games in a row. You lost a couple games in a row. Um, this is a situation you have to handle delicately um, until Trey Lance shows that he is, um, you know, a, a starter, NFL starter, and that he belongs. But until then, this is going to be interesting to see. Um, I thought that this was a very interesting story. This obviously has legs, um, and this is going to continue until the Niners either um, come to an agreement with Debo Samuel or they trade him. So um, this is going to be interesting to see. You know, we'll we'll uh, try to try to stay updated on this as much as I can. Um, but you know, for the meantime, it, it sucks for Niner fans. But um, it is what it is. This is the nature of the NFL. It's the nature of the business, and um, you know. All you can do is hope for the best for everybody involved. So that's that's pretty much it. That's all, pretty much all I got for this video today, guys. Um, if you like the content, please give me a thumbs up. Please consider subscribing to the channel. Um, I'm going to have more content coming out very, very soon. Um, thank you guys for your support. And uh, until next time.